Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Uh, this is Vic Tech with another video, and this video is on this little bad boy right here. Um, it's gonna be sort of like a really quick review. Um, this is one of the great devices uh, that I have ever bought, purchased. I've been using it for maybe three, four months now, and this is a TP-Link AV1000. This is a power over Ethernet adapter or switch whatever you want to call it this one is a dual uh, rj45 port so i can use two so this came in a box it came in pairs and once you plug this into the wall and you take the the the, the, the supplied cable that came with it and plug it into your router then you pair it to your router and then you take the second one and you plug it anywhere in your home uh, as long as it is within the uh, recommended range. I believe they say that this goes as far as 300 meters. Now the way this works is it takes your the signal, your internet signal, and where you can't run a long ethernet cable, let's say you're in the second, third floor, you plug this bad boy in, and then it'll detect through the uh, power through, through the actual electrical uh, wiring, and it'll pair up and your connection is transmitted via the power line. So, one of the reasons why I wanted to do this video was I needed another one of these to be able to connect on the upstairs. I have a Nexus player, and sometimes when I'm watching YouTube or Netflix, it stutters because everyone it's on the net at that time, and you know it's very frustrating. So. I searched on the web, I searched on the forums, I searched on YouTube to see if anyone would uh, provide an answer to my question, which was, I wanted to get the least expensive model, and I wanted to make sure that it would work. So, sometimes these devices are made where you can't, um, they're not backwards compatible, um, it has to be the same unit or model, and what happens is, if they're not, it won't work. So, I, um, I went on the web, and I think I got the AV200, which is, they, they, it goes up to, I believe, 200 megabits, and I, uh, tried to do some research, but there's a lot of videos on these devices, but no one really specified if it will work you know, even though it's a lower bandwidth model. So, I went on Amazon, I got the AV200s, I plugged it in, and they work flawlessly. And uh, I got to admit, my, my, my uh, internet service, I only have 100 megabits, and that's more than enough. It just happened that my connection upstairs and here in the basement um, was... It wasn't far from the router, but you have all the walls and all the wiring, and I don't know how old these walls are. They might be, you know, metal. They might be uh, whatever the cabling, and that kind of degrades the Wi-Fi connection. And even though I had a connection, I would have a lot of disconnects or a lot of um, I would have a lot of uh, uh, you know stuttering with videos and whatnot. And this right here has given me close to like, I would say, the full 90 megabits per second. I'm not going to do a speed test. There's a lot of videos on YouTube that show all of that. They show you how to set these up. That's not the point of this video. This video is a quick review to tell you that I've been using this for maybe three or four months. And I'm very happy with it. Now I have the AV200, which I'm going to do a separate video. Because um, the way I set it up was... The Nexus player does not have the uh, Ethernet port, so I um, jerry-rigged it in a way where I got one of these bad boys. I got the AV200 for the upstairs, and when I went to connect my Nexus player, I, I forgot that I didn't have an Ethernet connection. So, what I did was I went and I connected a USB hub through an OTG cable, which I'm going to show you later. And then, with that setup, I was able to connect it, and boom, I got now my Nexus player is has a solid connection 
The videos load extremely fast as expected and I'm very happy. So in conclusion to this video is can you mix and match these? Um, so far I have the TP link. This is the AV1000 which is 1000 megabits. Um, upstairs I have the AV200 which is up to 200 megabits but there's no deg degradation in speed and they work flawlessly and I haven't had any issues and I'll put up a video with that later on. Thanks for watching.